So let's make this easier. Here we have Mrs. Addison. She presented to the ER with general weakness, fatigue, dehydration, anorexia, nausea, and vomiting. Hi, Ms. Addison. My name is Florence Nightingale, but you can call me Student Flo. I'm going to be starting with taking your vital signs. Whoa, your blood pressure is low. We're going to have to get the doc in here to see what's going on and run some more tests on you. So, Mrs. Addison, we ran an ACTH simulation test, which it measures the cortisol in your blood after an injection of synthetic ACTH. A normal response would be a rise in your blood cortisol levels. Your lab results showed no response to the ACTH. Based on this lab and your symptoms, I think you have Addison's disease. What is Addison's disease? Addison's disease is an autoimmune disease where your body creates antigens that attack your adrenal glands. Normally, your brain sends out ATCH, which is a hormone that makes your adrenal glands make other hormones like cortisol and aldosterone. This helps your body adjust to periods of stress, like when your blood pressure becomes low. Since your adrenal glands are not working properly, your brain has to work extra hard pumping out more ATCH. This is why you're not feeling too hot. Luckily, with our advanced science these days, we have medicine that will replace the hormones your body is missing. Let me get my reference nurse so we can give you medicine to get you feeling better. Okay, Miss Addison, first I need to verify your identity. What is your first and last name and your date of birth? Olga Addison, 1-1-1965. Perfect, so I have two meds for you, prednisone and Florida cortisone. Florida cortisone is a steroid that replaces the aldosterone that your adrenal glands are not producing. This can have some side effects on your heart, so let me know if you experience any chest pain or your heart feels like it's racing. Next, we have prednisone which is also a steroid. This replaces the cortisol your body's lacking. We will need to watch your glucose levels and keep an eye out for signs of infection. So if you feel like you're getting sick, please make sure to let me know. Two days later, time for discharge. I'm gonna go over your discharge instructions with you. Make sure to increase your sodium in your diet since you are lacking aldosterone, which is responsible for the retention of sodium. Make sure you are keeping up on your medications and taking them as ordered. Lastly, I just want to talk a little bit about something called Addison's Crisis. Addison's Crisis is an emergency and it can be life-threatening. This can happen from stress or from not taking your medications as ordered. If you experience extreme weakness, confusion, or a drop in your blood pressure, come to the ER immediately. All right, Miss Addison, any questions or concerns before you go? No. I'm out of here.